Hello everyone and welcome to another Late Nights with Brian. I'm your host Brian of Gaming Center CX, or should I say the Nintendo Newswire. That's right, the Nintendo Newswire. I've decided today to rebrand the entire channel to the Nintendo Newswire because I wanted to distance myself from the Japanese TV show Game Center CX, which stars a wonderful man by the name of Arno Shinya, but that's a story for another time. Um, basically, I wanted to rebrand this entire channel for a long, long time. I just couldn't think of a name to go with this. And it wasn't until today when um, somebody did tell me, hey, you should rebrand your channel. Gaming Center CX is going to be a little bit too confusing to people. It's kind of misleading, which I agree, it is really is misleading to be named Gaming Center CX. Because people on YouTube are going to be searching for Game Center CX videos if they're, fi uh, if they're fans of that series. And all they're going to find is my videos. So why not just rebrand myself with something that nobody else is? And I figured, why not? Let's name it after one of my shows that are here on the channel. So I went with Gaming Center. Uh, not Gaming Center. Yeah, Jesus, I'm stuck with that name. Uh, I named it the Nintendo Newswire, of course. So what's this going to mean for the channel? Pretty much, I... It's pretty much going to stay the same. I'm hoping to get reviews soon. Once we know the release date of Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, I'll be able to try to get a copy from Golan Harris, who is the PR company for Nintendo, and hopefully I can get the copy, and hopefully I can get a review done by the end of the summer, hopefully. And if I can do that, it's going to be completely fantastic, and you're going gonna to love it. You're going to be showing off the new characters, possibly, in that review. And it's definitely probably going to be a spoiler-filled review if you guys are going to watch that when it comes out. But who knows? Maybe I'll do a spoiler-free review during the time that I'm re um, playing the game. Though I probably won't be able to review anything besides the box art during my time um, before the game is officially released. Because there's probably some form of NDA, a non-disclosure uh, agreement, saying that you can't reveal any screenshots or the like. So I probably won't be able to post anything on Meverse or anything else like that. But I'm sure once the review, you guys will understand why this game would probably be the best game ever. So, yep, that's the future for Gaming Center CX. Or I should say, I keep repeating myself for the Gaming Center CX. It's stuck in my head for the Nintendo Newswire. And I'm just going to move on to something else right now. Um, talking about that video last night I posted a response to Alpha Omega Sin because he told me to fact check my facts when I told him to fact check his facts because his video was completely wrong about the Nintendo YouTube affiliation program and what do you what I mean by wrong I mean he said that the affiliation program would affect YouTube reviewers editorialists people who do pretty much do video game journalism like Jay Wits or Pro Jared or other people who work with um, Nintendo News and stuff. Which is simply untrue. Um, people like me, though they have been getting content ID flagged, that is through YouTube. It's not Nintendo throwing out these content ID flags, though Nintendo probably did set up something like that. But if you try to dispute it, it's going to take a while, but hopefully with this YouTube affiliation program, those um, those content ID claims are probably going to get lifted no matter what, hopefully. But uh, Alpha Omega Sin is just mostly upset because he feels that people are going to be, um, people, not just people, Nintendo is going to be taking a huge chunk of money away from him, even though that is completely untrue. Nintendo won't be taking money from people who use their content in fair use, like reviewers, editorialists, people who make rants like he does, they're not going to take any money at all. But a lot of people feel that they are because, because they think Nintendo is a bunch of greedy people, which is simply untrue. Nintendo is not a greedy company at all. We know this. They're not greedy. They always look out for their fans. They're just trying to protect their intellectual property, which is their characters, their games, and they're trying to steer people away from making bad reviews of legitimately good games. Um, if you, for example, if you look at Darkseid Phil, he's an idiot. 
he doesn't know how to play video games because pretty much if you've seen his Metal Gear Solid videos he doesn't realize that it's stealth game stealth games are meant to be played slowly he just tries to rush and guns a blazing pretty much and it doesn't make any sense to me because he says the game doesn't show him where you're supposed to go it does if you listen to the codec calls it tells you where to go and he calls the game bugged because he switched to an item earlier and he thinks the uh, game bugged out and switched him to that item which is stupid and this is why there's companies like Nintendo who are extremely protected of their intellectual properties because there's people like Darkside Phil who's gonna make false reviews against a game and this is why Nintendo is taking um, a hard stance on Let's Players as well because if you upload a game in its entirety it's like uploading a movie with commentary it's illegal well I wouldn't say it's illegal but it, it, it takes money away from the Nintendo uh, from the companies who make these games pretty much what if a person watches a watches an entire let's play of a game what's the point of them going out and buying the game I mean there is absolutely no point if they watch the entire game with full cutscenes and everything it spoils the entire game for them, meaning they they have no reason to go out and play the game. And I feel Nintendo is definitely taking the better approach about this than most companies would like Capcom. Capcom uh, completely disallows Let's Plays on their games. Telltale Games completely disallows uh, playthroughs of their games unless you explicitly ask permission for them. But it's completely hard to get in touch with Telltale Games because I've tried and they've rejected my claims and everything. So, how the Yogg's cast, how Yogg's cast, um, Hannah is able to do Let's Plays of Walking Dead, uh, Season 2 and 1 is beyond me. I don't know how the hell she's able to monetize those videos when I'm not even do able to do that. When I did my full playthrough of it a long, long time ago. I no longer do Let's Plays because they're not a good way to play games. <sighs> I've ranted so long about this. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, remember, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a favorite. Give me some comments as well. What do you, what do you guys want me to talk about in the next video? Do you want to hear me talk about... Well, you know what? You guys decide. What do you want to hear me talk about? Put that down in the comments and I'll talk about it next video the most voted um, comment I'll talk about and um, if you like this video and if you like all my other videos subscribe to me here on YouTube it helps me out a long run watch my Nintendo download series it's really informative shows you the brand new downloads every single week on the Nintendo eShops for Wii U and 3DS and also watch the Nintendo Newswire it takes a look at the greatest news from the past week in Nintendo and the last episode I did is completely fantastic it's a seven minute video and that's a lot of different stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Add me to your circles in Google+. Look at me at Meverse too. I'm on Meverse as well. So look at some of my photos and everything from my 3DS games. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.